How long till our first break? Hour and a half, and you coffee? Not yet. Oh. Just trying to figure it out. Mm. Days without water and long sun so grown. We cross over borders, get where we are, and it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. What's your favorite part about making the numbers, Evelyn? Eating them after. Taking a break while doing it. We don't eat them after. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to day 29. We are leaving El Gansong. We're two thirds done. Are we? Well, I think if we keep to kind of the amount of time we thought it would take us. I guess so. I mean, we're almost two thirds done. Tomorrow. Well, you were originally going to say, we're almost done. Yeah. And it's going to be like, Really? We have to stop? I mean, if we do 45 days... I don't know what it's going to be like, like the day we stop. I keep saying, you know what, waking up each morning and going for a walk each day is becoming like habit. And to think that habit's going to end soon... Is... I thought about it for a minute yesterday, and I got a little depressed. I know. I tried not to think about it, because, you know, we can't all, like, live on the Camino. Well, like John does. <sighs> he does. He lives six months a year on the Camino. This is his job. This is his job. And we're not looking to take his job, so... But, uh, I don't know, it's going to be hard. Right. All right, where do we come from? We went El Gansong, and we are going to, we don't know where. We are, we're, at, we're at the point now where we're giving up all control to the Camino. Where we stop, yeah. we stop. Where we take a break, we take a break. We have a couple interesting things happening along the way today. We have a little surprise for the kids. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. For Guess what? Everyone in the United States. Or anyone who's not in the United States who celebrates 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. American. We're American. Did you guys Yay. know that? We're super and excited because we're going to have our own fireworks. We're going to throw rocks in the air <laughs> and hopefully not hit anyone. We are um, by American. We were born in the United States, both of us. Um, I truly consider my... I've always considered myself... Um, American to an extent, but I do consider myself more of a global citizen at this point. Well, you travel and enough and you basically... Yeah. Um, I'm grateful that we were born in America. We are offered... Let me get all emotional. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting well, somewhere? <laughs> we're offered... <clears throat> we're offered the opportunity many to travel. <laughs> well, but we're, offered, we're offered the opportunity and the freedoms just by being born into the United States that many people across the globe don't have. Thank you. Or wish they had. <laughs> and people are risking everything for those freedoms. And, um, and we're grateful. We're grateful that we don't have to fight for those because we had people before us that fought for those. Um, so for everyone in the United States, thank you so much. Happy anniversary. I, Happy I, Independence Day. I got more to say. You do? <laughs> I am sorry, I'm a little emotional there. Um, I'm not always pleased with the way things are going in the United States right now, but I'm really proud of what the country has built previously. And I hope we remember our history and what the country was built on um, and really have a lot of compassion for those we don't have the freedoms we have. You know, it's, it's super interesting because the Camino is one of those places where it brings everyone together. I mean, last night we were having dinner with people from Denmark, from Korea, from Italy, uh, Norway, uh, from Norway, Austria, Austria, Spain, Italy. Yeah. And, and it, just, it just, everyone just comes together in bonds and has a conversation. And regardless of ideological, religion, political, um, color, skin, anything else. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. Now, I know this doesn't happen everywhere, and the Camino is, is special. But, the, but question, the question comes, and we were having this conversation last night with this amazing man from Denmark who's here with his grandchildren. Why is it that we can't take this level of compassion that we have for other people, and often those less fortunate, and have a level of compassion and understanding for what they're going through, and um, be grateful for what we have? and we're willing to help those who don't have as much. Yeah, I mean, if I could take 
how things happen on the Camino and how people treat each other and just sprinkle it like glitter all over the world. It'd be pretty darn cool. It'd be pretty darn cool. So, so maybe everyone watching has to do the Camino and then take what you get from it back to your land and sprinkle it like glitter. Or we can create other Caminos and other places. Other Caminos. Yeah. We're gonna we have like a chain. We're gonna, chain. We're gonna be Camino creators. We're gonna have like McDonald's or Caminos. We're gonna have World Town and Caminos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Will and I have a surprise for the kids this morning and it's driving them crazy. I've given them hints. And they're like, She gave you, us one hint. Can you eat it? Can you this? Can you she that? Says it starts with a K and then it's not a person. Kit Kat. And then she said that it was adorable. Yeah. She said it was cute and that we have 10 to 15 minutes of enjoyment with it. Well, Daddy's cute. If you have to solve that riddle right now, go down to the comments and put what you think. <laughs> All right. Any aches and pains, Lago? Um, none. None. My feet actually don't hurt today. Is your final answer none? Um, my, my hips hurt. Your hips hurt. Will? Exhausted, but that's it. Oh my gosh. I'm tired too. Um, Are we gonna have to phase out the aches and pains? I think if we go three days with no aches and pains, then we phase it out and we put in a new subject. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay. Um, how'd you sleep last night? Horrible. Really? I kept I kept waking up without my comforters, having to pull the comforters back up. Really? Yeah. That's so fantastic. It was like having our own apartment. I loved it. The bed was really comfortable, but the, the blankets weren't enough. It was really cold. Okay. Will, how'd you sleep? I slept fine. Will doesn't always sleep well because he's worried about the equipment and someone, like for example, coming up into the loft and stealing something. He worries like droney, like, well, he doesn't worry about us like that, does he? Oh, we have a mm. built-in alarm system. Will, do you have anything to say for yourself? Um, it's going to be hard to lug out a 10-year-old while he's asleep. <laughs> Are you kidding? Logo's a pretty solid sleeper. <laughs> All right, what did you think of dinner last night? Mm, it was good. It was eh, good? I was in a meeting, so I wasn't able to partake in the like community aspect of dinner, but the dinner was good. There was avocado in the salad. The salad was the best salad I've had on the Camino. It had cheese in it, avocado, apple, um, raisins. What else? Nuts. Um, it was fresh. And it was cucumbers. Cucumber was so good. And some tomatoes. Will, what'd you think of dinner? It's the best salad we've had in Spain. It is the best salad. And it didn't have tuna. No. I was like, I, I know, was wondering. Is that weird? When it came out, I, mean, I was wondering, did mom tell them no tuna? <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she, I don't know. I was very happy to see no tuna. Did you enjoy your meal? Yeah. Yeah. You're cold, huh? Uh -huh. It's still really cold here in Spain. It's like July 4th and it's freezing. I know, I know. So we have officially left the meseta. Look at this around us. Yeah, it's lovely. It feels good. What do you guys think about the time of the meseta? Um, it was really good, and I was ready to be done. Mm. Same. The last two days, were, were, I struggled. It wasn't even that hot. I was just ready for change of scenery. But look at this. We have shade all over the place. We have trees. Yeah, it's nice. This is going to be spectacular. It's quite peaceful. I feel like I could fall asleep right now, actually. <gasps> Oh, if only I had a nice warm electric blanket. You have a warm electric owl on there. <laughs> That's not funny. I love how Alan's savoring her chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go get that Kindle. I mean, it's not secret. The kids are chomping at the bit right now to find out what's going on, and and we, this is like the most fun we've had with them since That's we've so gotten on the Camino. Funny. They don't like secrets, particularly Avalon. I shouldn't say secrets. They don't like surprises, particularly Avalon. It's driving them crazy. Okay, let me give you another what hint. What is the third letter? Let me give you another hint. Hint number three. When you touch it, it feels nice. So it's not a prickly bush. You know, it's not. When Camino. I think it's a kid. Is there a cheese that starts with K? Yes. Kraft. 
Kraft yellow cheese. It's AI, Mom. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with it for 15 minutes. Oh. And have super a lot of fun, but then after 15 minutes, we leave it. Oh, no. You think it's still cheese? I still say cheese. This is so fun with the kids. It's driving them crazy. Okay, so this surprise we're going to, it's like all uphill up this road and it's starting to rain. Well, it's been raining, but we're convinced that it's going to be worth it. Oh, hello! Oh, I wasn't sure we made it! Oh my god, I just let the kittens out! I told them there was a surprise this morning. Hello! Oh my god, I'm so excited! You can cute. make your shoes on, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. construction zone. So when are you opening? In 10 days? At the cat cafe? Wow! No, 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 she's gonna have another cake here. Wouldn't that be awesome for a cat cafe, Emma? <laughs> oh my gosh. Mom, can we be there home? No, Avalon. <laughs> can we be their new home? Yes, we'll just take a kitty in our backpack on the Camino. Oh, wow! What do you guys think, guys? Oh my gosh, this is, such, this is new shy. Oh my gosh, they are so cute, guys. Mom, please. Let me talk to Daddy. It's not happening. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh, baby. Bye. Bye. I want a kitty. Surprise! I it was a K I T T Y. I want a kitty. You didn't know that. I did too. All right, that was probably the most interesting meetup we've done so far. And this so entire she, thing. She found us through our YouTube channel and said, "Hey, stop in." And so we stopped in. She has an adorable, adorable albergue to, to stay at. She says I'm going to open for ten days, but they're one to room, person in room two and three, and they each have their own bathroom. By the time Highly this video goes up, yeah. it will definitely be open. Highly recommend business. it. Call the Stone Boat. Dot com. Dot com. And uh, and yeah. And they have kittens. And she has a fireplace, and she's going to cook communal vegetarian meals. And the best part, she is absolutely lovely, guys. Lovely. And check out the kitties if they're still there. <laughs> Say hi for us. <laughs>it going Jess? It's a really good lunch. We just finished lunch. It's but really exciting <laughs> and now it's super tight. I have to loosen this each day after lunch. So where are we going to next guys? To the cross. Cross. What cross? The highest point it on the Camino. Not. What do you mean it's not? I mean we're going to a higher point today actually. There's a higher point? Ten meters higher the second uphill. Where did you learn that? The guidebook. Whose guidebook? Our John's guidebook. guidebook? That's not funny mom. <laughs> John, I won't study your guidebook. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave our stone. So we have a special stone. Instead of doing individual stones, we have a two kilo stone that Stop we're sharing it. as a family in Evelyn's bag. <laughs> you think that's why your bag's so heavy. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna leave our stone behind and all of our problems and all of our stresses, right? I was gonna leave both of you actually. That's not funny. <laughs> Daddy has a tent in his bag. That's not funny. And I'll leave week's... you with 50 euros, you'll be fine. And a week's worth of food. We go see David when you need some more food. So, so we just landed now. Look at that. It's, it's so disappointing. It's kind of disappointing. It's on a freeway. But it's hold on a, a second. Let, let's. It's on a road. It's kind of on a road. Look at so, that. There's a lot of rocks. 28, 29 days to this symbolic location. I love what it represents to throw away our stress and our problems and leave them here with a rock. I guess from everything I'd seen, 
I envisioned like climbing up a mountain of rocks in the middle of nowhere with nothing around. Like remember that day where I was finding that one spot in the shade behind the sign? All right, we made it to the top. <laughs> the top of the Sierra de Atapuerca, which I think that may say, I'm not too sure. I think it does. Yeah, actually. yeah, it does. Right it there. Does, it's all rusted out. And that, that's what I thought, thought it'd be like. Yeah. I think it's still awesome and amazing, but definitely, it's definitely almost, not what I expected. It almost seems like, you will? like they've tourist. I don't know. If, if if this thing works and we can leave all our problems behind, you know, yeah, I don't care if it had a 7 Eleven. But I feel kind of like a tourist bus is going to pull up and people are going to yeah. throw rocks out the window and proceed on. You drive by, you throw your rock out the window. And that is one way to look at it. I love what it stands for. I just would love to transport it like back there on the top of that mountain we were just on mm -hmm. with kind of serenity and nothing around it. Okay, well, I think, I think, I think like there's <laughs> there's a lot of people who appreciate for what it is and don't care if it's a roadside stand. This is the part where we leave our problems or stresses here with our rocks. So we're each gonna we did a family rock. We're each gonna touch it. Wow, look, you got a lot of problems. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to pass that on. Okay. And there you go. You trying to think? Uh, yeah, I am actually. Like, oh gosh, I'm so glad you don't have, have any problems. You can give a well wish for someone else if you want. They might have some problems. Put it someplace. Okay. Like, I want to put it down. Okay. I think it would fit up here or something. Like stuck. No, it won't fall out. Can we like put it right here? I want to help. Make sure someone doesn't fall down. Okay. Uh, it's right there. Take a video of it, Dad. So that was the Cruz de Faro. We've we did what we, we had heard to do. about it. Well, I mean, we <laughs> knew about it. Oh, I feel weird. Hold on. Oh, here we go again. I have to come to my side. I know. Because our bags bang each other on that side. It's just very odd. That's, All right. Well, that's one of the problems we have to leave behind. So that. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love what this symbolizes. You know, just leaving whatever it is, problems, stress. Maybe problems or stress someone else is having if you're not having it behind on a rock. Um, we had a lovely moment there with the kids and everyone, we didn't, yeah. we didn't advertise our problems. We just touched our rock and left our problems on it and walked away. I like the fact that also that you don't have to walk here. You can drive here if you want. You yeah, know, I, take I mean, a trip to this part of Spain. I guess Will's a little drop, more. <laughs> drop off all your problems. Will's a little drive more, le less, um, I don't know. I don't like that it's right beside the road. I wish it was more out in nature and you kind of had to hike out to it. Um, but I it's still, still, I still think it's beautiful and it's wonderful. It's still kind of nice. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get to our bag now. Let's go. We've got, what, how many kilometers? Nine? 85, bye. Oof, okay, bye. <laughs> At the, which appears to be close to, and I don't even know when the top of this, the high, the highest point of the Camino is. It appears to be on Google, and oh, I'm still on our guidebook. We think we know where we are. The kids keep saying we're here, and they're like, no, we keep going higher. This uphill just does not quit. What a gorgeous hike, though today. It feels like Pyrenees light. It well, it? <laughs> except for it's more narrow. At least the Pyrenees is like like an actual. 
you know, it's almost like an eight, eight lane hiker highway where you can like go <laughs> stretch four across and you're fine. Yeah, this feels a little dangerous. There's a lot of slate all over the place on the ground. So we have to really be careful when we're walking. And okay was ahead of us by a day and he said coming down from this, we're gonna go down quite a bit, that it was really dangerous. You just have to be very careful coming down. So we're just, we're taking this in, we're soaking it in. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. And the temps are actually fantastic. We could do this all day long. I think, I mean, considering we're almost two thirds done, I think minus like two or three really hot days and a couple of cold evenings when we're sleeping, we've been really fortunate with the weather we've had because we've heard horror stories about other people have had. So we've got about 15 or so days left. So There's we're some, keeping- Some wood you can knock on. Right fingers, over there. yeah, fingers crossed that we continue to have great weather. Yep. We're carrying an extra rock in our pocket in case we need to go ahead and sort of uh, <laughs> cash in that one. chip. Okay, this looks dangerous. Okay. We've arrived. I feel like we've been walking for weeks. But this is our town. It's only been, what, 26K? And I say, well, it looks like we're walking into like a totally dead town, too. I know. We're going to light though. this place on fire, Will. Let's you think go. so? Yeah. Dancing on tables. Taking off our socks and shoes. Letting our hair out of the hats. Putting on our flip-flops. Putting on our flip-flops. It's going to get wild out here. It's going to get wild. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Our home awaits. Where are we sleeping? We're anywhere we want. Okay, you want to sit over there? Just plug over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just like this. Okay. Just nice. The key okay, component to any outbreak is having a plug this, nearby. So what do you think? I think I could be in a... I'm not even going to say it. Yeah, yeah, just be candid now. <laughs> <laughs> I think anything. I think it's fine, honestly. I think it's totally fine. Um, no problems at all. It's only six of us in here. And the other two people we know, and they're a very nice couple. Day 29 done. We, um, we're actually the next door. We're actually in day 30. We're in day 30, guys. I'm sure you noticed. I could not, it was all me. I couldn't do the wrap up last night. It was not a particularly long day, but for whatever reason, I was exhausted. And we were gonna do it from our bed and just say, let's like just do a John and Yoko here and give a recap. But we had two other people in the room with us and we just didn't want to wake them well, there up. There was so. a lot of uphill and downhill climbs. It was, it was actually probably one of the most um, dangerous climbs. We yeah, did. it was most dangerous. Maybe that's why we're using different muscles and kind of stressing Walking our on muscles. Shale rocks. Yeah. And, but it was, it was beautiful. I mean, I thought it was beautiful second to the Pyrenees. I really, really enjoyed it. So, what did we spend yesterday? About 120. We, so we went a little over budget. Yeah, there wasn't really a lot of grocery stores or anything like that, so we couldn't pick up food. And, and typically when we go over budget, it's because we, there's either we got in too late or didn't plan accordingly and get groceries or there weren't, wasn't access to a grocery store the night before. So we end up eating in restaurants. And honestly, I think yesterday was probably a blessing because I don't think we had the capacity to cook any of us. We or were just to sit so... down and eat the same ham and cheese and everything else. Yeah, we needed we get, a break. We get tired of the ham and cheese sandwiches because that's usually what we get at the grocery store and some fruits and veggies. So um, how, how many kilometers did we go? 24? 24 kilometers of like just pure elevation. Yes. Ups yeah. and downs. And how much did we, uh, I'm sorry, where did we start? We started in El Ganso and we ended, ended in El Acebeo. So Will and I, we don't know for sure, but we're pretty convinced this might be the last bit of... Of oh, the super scenery. Super scenery. So look, guys, I'm going to step out of frame. Uh, ah, I'm coming uh, back in frame. Get ready. Yep. Did you like it? Have a nice night. Buen camino. <laughs> Au revoir. So this, is, this is, looks like breakfast for you, Jessica. It's a monster. Look at that. It's like a Subway sandwich on steroids for breakfast. I can't eat that much bread like that. What's that? This is my bocadilla sandwich. You know what? Well, I think I may just have them toast the bread. That's too much, too much bread for me. <laughs>